My biggest fear is them using the gun on somebody because they're so young. Armed, dangerous, and after guns. DeKalb police call these young men dangerous burglars. It appears that they've been breaking into homes in search of weapons. And based on their track record, they're not afraid to shoot. Uh, police say they even used firepower to steal even more guns from a safe. Uh, Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz has this story. Neighbors in the South DeKalb community have been on the lookout for these burglars and have been sharing the surveillance video with other neighbors. But one victim is very afraid what these burglars could do with the guns police say they stole. Looking at the video, it's like they had no concern and they're young. Frightening. Surveillance shows two young men possibly teens, walking around a home with guns and a rifle ready. They had a lock on there and they, they shot out the lock to get into the safe. This is where the guns came from. Police say they shot at this safe, bolted to the wall several times to crack it open. When I came through the front door, the first thing that I saw was the rifle bag was sitting on the floor in my living room. Natasha Huggins tells us the brazen burglars who broke into her home in the Cedar Trace neighborhood kicked around her other safe to get to another loaded gun first. I've done everything that I was supposed to do. There's a safety on both of the guns. My rifle was in, was in a safe. She says she's frustrated. This is the second burglary on her home this year. My biggest fear is them using the gun on somebody because they're so young. If someone was home, that could have been a dangerous confrontation. Sergeant Lewis Pierce says he's glad these two men have not hurt any other homeowners yet. He gave us plenty of close-ups of their faces. Investigators have tied them to two break-ins so far, but say they could be behind many more and believe they hang around the Soapstone neighborhood and River Road area. They're definitely bold, dangerous, and now they're armed. Somebody has to know who the boys are. Their parents, somebody has to know that these kids, they 